Welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Right. We just started the last case of... <laughs> Everyone say hi, YouTube. <laughs> we just started the last case of Justice for All. I can't believe we're almost done with the trilogy. That's wild. <clears throat> um, but we are trying to solve a murder. We're trying to solve a murder. Also, a quick content warning. I have never played this before, but people have told me that there is, um, there's like portrayals and imagery of suicide. So this is your content warning. If that's not for you, maybe skip this episode. Um, I don't know, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know when it comes up. I've heard it comes up a couple times, but because this is my first time playing, I don't know. So um, if that's something that's not for you, Feel free to skip ahead or, or find another thing to watch or whatever. Um, no offense taken. If anyone wants specific spoilers, I'm happy to tell them for their well-being. Oh yeah, if you want to whisper Lemon Wedgeworth, go for it. I just mean for like YouTube people. Like I don't know when it's coming up, so hopefully it's not too bad. We'll see. Um, but yeah, we're gonna keep going. I'm so excited, and I get to do my stupid little French accent. <laughs> okay, so this is the next day. Because <clears throat> I think it started March 20th. Well, at least we were able to get Mr. Matt on guard as our client. Matt on guard. <laughs> I, listen. So Maya's been kidnapped, by the way. Just a heads up. Maya's been kidnapped. So we're stuck with Pearl. Which means two things. One, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to, do her high pitched voice the whole episode. And two, Mia is good. Yeah. Ew incoming. Absolutely. Mia is going to take over her body again at some point. I feel it in my bones. And we know that he didn't do it, which is very important. So, so now what should we do? Well, the trial is tomorrow and we only get this one chance. Dude, the fact that they said I only have one chance is like stressing me out. <laughs> There's only one way to prove Mr. On Guard's innocence. We have to find the real killer. Okay, then let's start looking. I think it's Pearl again. I think because she got away with the first one, she got away with murdering that guy, the doctor guy, or surgeon or whatever. I think now she, she's getting cocky and she's like, I could, I could get away with another one. Oh yeah, we will be saves coming, don't you worry. I have no qualms with saves coming. No, I'm not asking an eight-year-old what we should do. <laughs> I'm just gonna go do it. Matangarde, did you commit a homicide? As a lawyer dude, so uh, what did you find out? Um, well, I'm still in the middle of investigating. I see. But uh, I've already told you everything I know, dude. <laughs> We're gonna ask again. <laughs> she looks like she's ready to murder someone. Pearl? Oh yeah, at all times. French Avery, my favorite. Dag Nabbit Avery's French again. <laughs> Not the French. We need an emote. Cause Reggie just reached out the other day and was like, do you want some new emotes? I'm taking commissions. We need an, uh, a Siha emote with like a baguette and a like striped shirt and like a beret. <laughs> Can you tell me about your activities last night? After I got the award, I took a break and went back to my room. I had that uh, post-ceremony stage show to do. So I was in my nickel samurai costume. Uh, and you were alone the entire time? My manager was running around being busy, so uh, yeah. Because of the press conference you were supposed to do to hold, you were supposed to hold after the show, I told you, dude, I have uh, no idea about any press conference, all right? He gets so defensive when he talks about this. Content warning! Content warning, portrayals of suicide and also French. <laughs> See, I think some people could look past the portrayals of suicide, but I think the French might be where the line gets drawn. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, there's French, I can't be here. That's strange. I thought the Nickel Samurai was going to confess something. Anyway, when I was uh, leaving my room, that's when I noticed it was kind of noisy. Mr. Karita was already dead at that time. 
Yeah, bah ouais, that's what I get out anyway from my manager. I'm beginning to gather that this guy can't do a thing on his own. <laughs> and uh, that's when the uh, detective in the green coat showed up. He searched me and then out of the blue, the dude arrested me. <laughs> French is a little too much for me. Is French even TOS? <laughs> is French even TOS? <laughs> Whoever incorrectly told Avery this guy is French, this is on you. The person who incorrectly told Avery that this guy is French is Avery. I need you to know that. Oh, the emote. Yes, the emote. Yes, yes, yes. Let me check with my, let me check with my contact at Twitch. Make sure it's TOS. Um, I saw that his name was Matt on guard and they said something about French and I was like, done. Done. He's got a French accent. The fact that he's like a surfer dude with a French accent too. I told you dude, I uh, don't know anything about this. It is bogus and uh, kawabunga. Bawe, bawe, kawabunga. <clears throat> I need to hear a French person say the word kawabunga. Now, this is a wicked dude. Uh, what is there else to say? It is wicked. About you and the victim, Mr. Juan Carita. What sort of... That's got nothing to do with anything, dude. Man with that face of his, you can't even tell he's the same age as me. And he wanted to try to make a Jamin Ninja movie, even though we all know it did fail. The Nickel Samurai still won in the end, though, right? Bah oui, I took the Grand Prix by storm. Storm. Kaubunga. <laughs> bah oui, Kanga. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I'm gonna text Felix. <laughs> Hold on. Felix, I need you to do something. Can you send me a voice note of you saying Kawabunga? <laughs> Please, I need this. <laughs> bah, Kawabunga, dude, it's just like this. Uh, bro, trying to work on JD25 and gets this mess. <laughs> it's, it's for marketing for JD25, okay? I'm trying to support the game. I need this. I'm gonna play that audio message and then say go by Just Dance 2025. <laughs> so why would I, uh, the winner, have any reason to kill the guy anyway? Dude, you'd think it'd be the other way around, you know, c'est la vie, it is like this. Okay, this is like everything he told me yesterday, so we can just leave. <clears throat> Hotel lobby, March 21st, get water hotel. Hotel lobby. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, I forgot the voice I gave her. It's kind of like, hey, what do you think you're doing? You can't come in with that. But that sounds like the, that sounds like the clown. What do you think you're doing? You can't come in without. Good morning. Hold on. It's you. What's going on around here? <laughs> That's the best you're getting today. I'm so tired. <laughs> Listen, someone, someone in this room took two dance classes last night. And all I'm saying is I got the bruises to prove it. So I'm really tired, okay? <laughs> uh, a girl is tired and she's gonna try her best. Uh, um, I heard poor Juan was killed. Is that true? A bad rerun is what this is. Another steel samurai doing the most evil of deeds. That voice is terrible. Yeah, I just forgot to bring, um, so it was a, it was a, the first one was a heels class and I just forgot to bring knee pads and I went full out cause I'm stupid. So <laughs> that's my own fault. It's my own fault. Spoo Spoochio, Spoochio. I saw. <laughs> I saw a tweet the other day of SpongeBob doing the splits and someone goes, oh no, his spoochy touching the floor. A 
And that's immediately what I thought. No. No, his spoochie touching the floor. Anyways, thank you, Spoochio, for the prime zone. <laughs> Not the spoochie. His spoochie touching the floor. Spooch Bob. Thank you, Spoochio, for using your prime sub on me. I'm sure at this point you're regretting it, but I appreciate it. Enjoy ad-free viewing. Enjoy your emotes. Thank you for contrib contributing to our August sub goal where we're sub goal, sub goal where we're gonna play Smurfs Dance Party. I can't wait. <laughs> um, you know, that's not entirely. I'll have you know that I was a huge fan of wands. Why, oh, why do all the stars I'm interested in drop one by one like flies? It's always been that way. Ever since I went in class, Hamster was fine. The other kids started calling me Queen Reaper. What were your name and you just built that? Um, actually, I wanted to ask you about the murder and what happened. He's so good at cutting people off who just keep talking. Me, I'll just let them keep talking. I'm too nice. Like, I'll start to, like, inch away, but I'll just keep listening. Fucking kids these days, I swear to God. Hmm. Don't push me, boy. Um, Mr. Nick? I, um, I couldn't hear everything she said because she was talking too fast. You don't gotta listen. Pearl, you don't have to listen. <laughs> Miss Oldbag, could you please speak a little slower? Don't boss me around, you spiky-haired smarty pants. Ratatata! <laughs> Ratatata! <laughs> Ratatata! <laughs> I love. <laughs> That's my favorite part of this game so far. Ra -ta -ta -ta. My dear hammer died a year ago in that dreadful murder. And only recently did I finally find a star that makes this heart go but dump again. What if it was her? I don't know what to say. I ask you, why does every star I cheer for always end up kicking the bucket? Um, I'd watch your words. No one's going to get away with saying anything bad about my wand. But I haven't said anything. <laughs> well, I don't believe a word that woman says anyway. What woman? Huh? What woman? <gasps> Not lot of heart. Not lot of heart. Maya said on guard speaks French at 1024 of the VOD. The fact that you dug that up so quickly is so impressive. <laughs> And girl speaks French, so that means he is French. And that means I am going to say French all the time. So, uh, bah ouais. That irritating backwater girl with the afro and the horrible country accent. I mean, what is the manner of speaking supposed to be? And why does she never stop? She's my favorite accent to do because it's so easy. A lot of heart at your service. Honestly. Women these days, they don't know the money when I was a young maiden. But despite this, I pressed flowers or read the... <sighs> Pearls, are you thirsty? Um, a little. Okay, I'll go get you some juice or something. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hey, are you paying attention? Young instant, hey. So I'm guessing Miss Oldbag heard everything from Lada. I gotta keep asking her questions? <clears throat> I want to ask you about what happened around the time of the murder. I don't know anything about that. I was here getting ready. Getting ready for what? The show, of course. Well, and the press conference afterwards. Why was she... Oh, never mind, sorry. <clears throat> I was going to ask why she was let go from the, the big studio, because I forgot, and then I realized it's because she testified against the big wigs, so they, they fired her. Cause she was like, I'm not going down to save the secret or whatever. Cue the mysterious music for the magical press conference. Anyway, I don't know anything about the murder. Oh, I see. But. I'm listening. But if you're talking about what I saw, that's different. I saw it very clearly. What? I saw the most important moment of the night. 
but <laughs> but the most important moment you don't mean oh so now you treat me with respect you disrespectful child when you speak to your elders you should always be polite really kids today please tell me what did you see oh <gasps> she's giving it a secret oh four four the murder last night was gruesome wasn't it but then what murder isn't please don't stray onto another tangent please <laughs> <clears throat> If you want to hear more, then show your respect and bring this lady a present. No. <laughs> no. She did it. <laughs> she did it. Me when I have very important information about a murder case. Oh, so now you need me? <laughs> about someone who was murdered that she loved. See, this is why I don't respect my elders. <clears throat> Looks like the investigation is still in full swing. The hotel staff and the police are running around like a bunch of headless chickens. I wonder if we can do anything. I want I want I wonder if we can do any investigating of our own in this kind of atmosphere. Well, got to roll up the sleeves and try, I guess. <laughs> Am I supposed to examine everything again? We ate at this table last night, didn't we? Yes. I was really happy then. Wish I could make you smile again, even for a second. Aww, sweet little pearly. Pearly whirly. <clears throat> this sure is one luxurious hotel. Almost to the point of gaudy with how it blends together everything fancy imaginable. Speaking of fancy, didn't that bellboy give me something like that last year? I don't remember last year. <laughs> I don't remember two hours ago. That is such a beautiful sight. The chandelier? Yes, but I can't believe it. I can't believe that such a terrible murder happened under such beautiful lights. It's shocking. Grow up, Pearl. People get killed. The award ceremony was held on that stage just last night. It was really fabulous. You just reminded me of the circus for a second. I need to forget the circus case, please. If someone says circus one more time, I'm going to lose it. <clears throat> I wonder if everyone is all right. No, <clears throat> they're not, bestie. Sorry. They're not. I heard that Barry Big Circus just recently started. Oh, we, we read this one already. Okay, um, can we go to the hallway? Is Phoenix ever gonna get to piss? Hi, Kira! Good morning, sunshine! How's your day, BB? So good to see you. Yeah, dude, I like, I was telling chat, like, cause everyone was saying, just so you know, the one after the circus one is great, which is this one. They were like, just so you know, the, the case after is really, really good. And if they hadn't told me that, I would have just quit. It was so bad. <laughs> First of all, every adult man in that case was a pedophile. And I'll say it, they were all pedophiles. <clears throat> um, and then also they were all saying the most like cancelable things ever. Like ableist fat shaming, like, <laughs> slut shaming. I was like, bruh. <laughs> and then I think Lemon told me, she was like, oh, fun fact. The guy who wrote this case was drunk when he wrote it. And I'm like, you know what? You know what? Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> I can see that. Yeah. Mo wasn't a pedophile, but he was like, I wish my daughter was more like her to the one girl that everyone was trying to marry who was 16. Bruh, it's such a bad case. But everyone told me that is like the worst case and once you persevere and get through it, then it's over. So like, apparently that was the worst one. <clears throat> but they keep fucking bringing it up in this one and I'm like, stop, let it go. Let it go. 
I'm sleepy. No, sleepy girl. Go get some coffee. Hi there. You're here. Been waiting for you, Mr. Lawyer. Lotta. <laughs> That's how I imagine he says it. Ugh. Lotta. Hey, Mr. Cop fella. The thief showed his face. What? Arrest him. Put him on trial. Find him guilty. Give him the death penalty. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Lotta's like, kill him. What's wrong, Lotta? Are you feeling all right? Looked here and there and up and down the mountain, but it ain't here. So why don't you just hurry up and give it back to me, you creep? Is she talking to me? Um, what are you looking for? My camera. C A M R E A. <laughs> camera. <laughs> it's my lifeblood. I'm going to die without my $700 camera. Damn, they were even $700 back then? In 2002? Jesus Christ. My Camry. <laughs> Your camera? Look, don't lots of people say the criminal always goes back to the scene of the crime? And looky, looky, here you are. Yep, here I am, faced with a lot of trouble. <laughs> Good one. Huh? And steal your stupid fucking camera. <laughs> so you lost your camera? It ain't no ordinary camera. You buy it in a store and it's $1,600 brand new. You just told me it's $700. <clears throat> what are you... Ugh, I love her, but I hate her also. Huh? But didn't you just say you bought it for $700? I had a nice long talk with the guy at the store. About five hours, I reckon. <laughs> I made this itty bitty scratch on it and the manager got all huffed up in the face. He gave me his talking to and was real mean about it too. He done made me cry at that. When did you lose your camera? Last night after the murder happened. Must have been when I was busy running around looking into things. That's when I lost sight of my dear darling expensive sweetie. Lotta, what did you capture with that expensive camera of yours? I don't rightly know. I snapped a shot of anything that caught my eye. So I don't remember. And sads, I couldn't get anything from my big scoop. I wonder if Lada's missing camera is even connected to the murder. <gasps> Lada's camera. Very expensive item valued at $600. Stolen around the time of the murder. I love Lada's background music. He paid her $700 to go away. <laughs> Lada, please tell me what you know about what happened at the time of the murder. Well... From before the ceremony last night, I was hanging around here in this area. Yeah, actually, I was here until around the time Mr. Ongard was arrested. What were you doing here? You sure went... You sure you went to school, city boy? Wherever a lot of heart goes, there's a story to be found. A big scoop to be had. A big scoop? I told you before, I'm gonna be the best tabloid photographer the world's ever seen. Reckon course that means I'm always looking for the perfect shot. I wonder what scoop she was after this time. The confession? Didn't they say something about a confession? That means she got a 180 discount for every uh, hour she talked his ear off. I'm surprised he lasted more than like 30 minutes. <laughs> if I were still in retail, I would have been like, just take it, leave me alone. Although I was also on the lookout for the other stars that were here. So maybe I wasn't here the entire time. <sighs> The sleepy never ends, dude. The sleepy never ends. <laughs> Big scoop. Lada, are you sure you weren't here the entire time? So you could take a picture for your big scoop? Well, maybe I was, but that's what real journalists do. I got some juicy inside info, so I thought to myself, why not get a picture for proof? What kind of story was it that you would hang around here? <gasps> Two? I knew it! I knew it would be two. Oops, sorry, Mr. Lawyer. Can't be telling you that trade secret, you know. Not again. Why does everyone have something to hide? We've been stopped, haven't we? Ha! <laughs> yeah. Take that, Mr. Lawyer. I'm glad someone around here is happy. Miss Lotta in your I rule smile. <laughs> okay. Can I present anything to her? Um, 
Maybe old bag. What do you know about old bag? Age? Question mark. <laughs> she's ageless. That's the thing about her. Is she's ageless. Also, this is too far pointed that way. There we go. That's better. She's ageless. Oh. Okay, she doesn't care about this. Ah! This old granny! Ah, she kept on glaring at me with those eyes of hers. As if it's my fault. Kept babbling how she won't forgive people who write trash about her wound. Ah, yeah, we sort of got into a little fight, you know. A little fight? Knowing those two is probably more of a blabbering contest. <laughs> What about Juan? Oh, she doesn't care. Okay. I wish I could skip all these. Mm. Detective? Do you know anything? <sighs> I've told you how many times now? I'm a journalist. I've got so much info running out. Okay. She doesn't know. Let's go back to old bag and... Oh! <gasps> We can go into the hotel rooms? Okay, hold on. Before we go in, let's ask Old Bag about the fight. Oh. She's not telling me anything. How about I tell you my measurements? No, that's okay. <laughs> Okay, anyways, that didn't do me any good. Okay, we'll just go into the hotel rooms. Oh, exciting! We get to go into the rooms! We get to go into the rooms! Let's go into Metangard's. Um, where are we? We're in Mr. Metangard's dressing room. This is our client's room. May I help you with something? Samus? Is that Samus? Mother? Um, uh, we're... You're Mr. Ongard's lawyer, correct? I gathered as much. I also looked for lawyers on my end, but to no avail. Um, how did you know I'm his lawyer? You were just saying that he is your client. In a situation like this, the only person who would use such a word would be his lawyer. Wow. It's a simple deduction, really. The trial is tomorrow, and Mr. Ongard's situation is looking rather grim. So you came here one stop in your mad dash to find clues to build his case, correct? I need her on my side. Pearl, go home. I have a new assistant. <laughs> well, you're not totally right, but you're not totally off either. It's really not the time to be showing off, Mr. Nick. I am Adrian Andrews. Adrian Andrews. That's going to be so hard to say. I am Adrian Andrews. I hate to waste time, so let's get down to business. All right. She may be of small stature, but appearances can be deceiving. I assume the first thing you need to know is what everyone was doing that night, correct? Yes, that is correct. Then I will tell you. Before the award ceremony, I had dinner with Mr. On Guard. What is she spinning? Is that a shell? In this very room, I might add. Dinner? What did you eat? I told you, I hate to waste time with trifling details. If you took a look at the table yourself, you wouldn't need to ask me. She's Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> she is Sherlock Holmes, I think. I bet she's a lot of fun at parties. <laughs> she looks like she could kick my ass and I would say thank you. When the award show was starting, I headed for Viola Hall. And after the show ended, you came back to this room? <laughs> Love it. Phoenix, shut your gay ass up and listen to the lady. Mubot was like, I beg your pardon? What'd you say? And after the show ended, you came back to this room? No, I had some small errands to run. I helped with the preparations in the lobby. Oh. Preparations for the post-ceremony show, I guess. When it was time for the post-ceremony show, I came back to call for Mr. Ungard. 
After that, I went to visit Mr. Karita. And that's when you found his body, isn't it? You really held strong through everything. Yeah, she does seem to be mentally tough as nails. Um, so, about you and... Stop right there. You aren't seriously about to ask how Mr. Ungard and I are related, are you? Sorry. I have no idea how he he could... I have no idea how he could chose you as his lawyer. You are gonna roast me with those English skills? With that grammar? Can we get a JP Mark uh, minor spelling mistake? <laughs> I don't even know if I'm still sub to him. <laughs> oh my God, I am! Minor spelling mistake. <laughs> Why did she have to go and say something like that? Mr. Nick, calm down and hang in there. I'll give you a shoulder rub to relieve your stress later, all right? No thanks. <laughs> I already gave you my name earlier, but I'll add that I'm Mr. Ungard's manager. That's literally all I was asking for. Hi, Gallup, thank you for the prime set for four months. Thank you, I appreciate it. His manager. Speaking of managers, did the victim, Mr. Karita, have one? No, he did not. He didn't? Global Studios has a very different policy from Worldwide Studios, in that Worldwide Studios does not assign individual managers to their stars. I see. This industry is very ruthless and unforgiving. Actually, you look quite ruthless and unforgiving yourself to your poor partner. An eight-year-old girl? Actually, you know what? She has a point. Dragging a little girl like her to places like this, honestly. You're wrong. I, I'm doing this to help Mystic Maya. Pearls, calm down and hang in there. I'll buy you a juice later, all right? <laughs> mm. Um, can I present... A ticket? You were the one taking care of the arrangements for this press conference, right? Yes, that's right. But Mr. Ungard said he didn't know about it. Is that what he said? Huh? Actually, I didn't know all the details either. It was a request from the publicity department. All I did was help out and do what I was asked. Oh, I see. I wonder about that. I wouldn't take her to be the type of person to do something without knowing the details. What the hell's going on here? <laughs> Do you know I'm a lawyer? Um, I'd like to ask you about this. I told you, I hate trifling, ma <laughs> trifling matters such as an attorney's badge. I hate them. And I hate you. It's a waste of time to show me things that are of no relevance to me. Wow, this is the first time I've been shut down this badly. <laughs> um. Oh, I can ask you if she's in the camera. Oh, no. Okay. Never mind. What about a profile? What about, um... Can I ask about On Guard? I asked to become Mr. On Guard's manager. He's a pleasure to manage with his nice disposition. Hmm, Mr. On Guard does seem like a rather weak-willed man, always doing as he's told. He's always seeing my manager, right, Mr. Nick? She had nothing to say about that. Present her a wedding ring. Hey, have you seen this wedding ring? No. Okay. What about old bag? Okay. Never mind. <laughs> well, excuse me then. Looks like dishes left over from dinner. A dinner for two at that. I'm sure they're Mr. Ungard and Miss Andrews plates. Looks like they had T-bone steaks. What's with Global Studios and T-bone steaks? Not the T-bone steaks again. Have you seen this wedding ring? Just curious. There's some samurai looking clothes on the sofa here. Um, I think that jacket looking thing is called a happy. Whatever it is, I'm sure something like that would make a great souvenir. Maya would be absolutely thrilled. <laughs> Let's take it. It's mine now. It's probably Mr. On Guard's suitcase. For someone who was only going to be here for the award show, this is a lot of stuff. Looks like he has about three days worth of clothes in here. Stars really are different from us, aren't they? That's the bedroom over there. That's a bed? 
Wow, they have really big beds here. Oh, that's right, doesn't she sleep on the floor? It's a giant bone sitting on the plate. I, I don't really like meat. There's something weird about this plate. I just wish I could put my finger on what it is. Something weird about the plate? Did Ungard say he's vegetarian? I can't remember. I can't remember anything from yesterday. Don't think so. Oh, never mind. Do you have any ideas as to as to why Mr. Karita was murdered? Why would you ask me about such a thing? I'm just doing my job. So do you have any ideas? <gasps> Everyone's got a fucking secret for for Miss Andrews. Sorry, but there's nothing more I have to add to this conversation. Is it a psyche lock, Mr. Nick? Yes, there's getting to be more and more of these lately. I really struggle with the psyche locks. I'm really bad at them. Um, okay, let's go into Karita's hotel room. Wee woo. The bears. He just like Kira Kira Crystal for real. Mr. Nick, where are we? We're in Mr. Juan Carita's room, Pearls. Mr. Carita? The victim, which makes this the crime scene too. I don't know if we should be bringing her in here. <laughs> We're in Bearland, Pearls. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, Gumshoe! Oh, it's you. So, what's happened? The kidnapper, has he contacted you again? Not yet, he probably won't until we win Mr. Ongard's acquittal. Um, you doing okay, pal, hanging in there? I just want Maya to be all right. We don't have a lot of time left, but I'm going to help you as much as I can, pal. Can you do that, even if we want to look around the crime scene? Just this once, special circumstances, right, pal? I'll even tell you everything I know, but you've got to keep quiet. It's my neck on the line here. Thank you. Oh, that's right, I got you guys a map of the hotel. Here you go, little missy. Wow, you're giving it to me? Thank you. She's my co-pilot. Detective Dick Gumshoe at your service. Gumfuck W. <laughs> Not gumfuck. Gumfuck? <laughs> Wouldn't want you to get lost in a hotel too big for its own good. Mr. Nick, I got a map. That's great, Pearls. Um... But Mr. Nick, I can't read what it says. Map of the Gatewater Hotel around the crime scene. Can I see it? I'm gonna need this. I'm gonna need this. Dude, this coffee sucks. It's not doing anything for me, and it's so sugary. Hell yeah, Pearl's illiterate. You go, girl. <laughs> she just like us. Do you know what the what was the cause of death? Well, technically, the final autopsy report isn't out yet, but one look at the victim should tell you, pal. It should? Yeah, here's a picture. Oh. There's a knife in his chest. Yeah, pal, that's the murder weapon. So he was stabbed to death. They're looking at the fingerprints down at the lab right now. There were fingerprints on the knife? Yep. And it looks like they're pretty sure they're Mr. On Guard's prints. Uh-oh. The Clarence coffee? Yeah. But it was like, it's not bad in the way that like it tastes bad. It's bad in the way that it's so sugary. It was like one of those like birthday cake lattes or whatever. And I was like, yeah, I'll try it. It's too much sugar. Like it doesn't taste like there's any coffee in it at all. That's bad, real bad. Why was Mr. On Guard arrested? Because we had evidence on him. Evidence? It looks like the victim, Juan Carita, really put up a big fight. Oh, this place is huge. <laughs> yeah, one look at the crime scene, you can tell. There's signs of a struggle everywhere. Well, yeah, during the fight, his button came off. Mr. On Guard said something about a button. Something like one of the Jammin' Ninja's buttons got caught in his hakama. 
but that's not all. Huh? There was a witness, pal. If this witness is Lada, it's over for me. I don't get birthday cake flavor. Like every cake can be a birthday cake. I know, but like, it's just too sweet. It's like the cakiness. I don't know, I don't like it. A witness, who is it? Oh, old bag. That lady, Miss Old Bag. Please, anyone but her. The prosecution has plenty of evidence to make a solid case. Not to mention there's something around where the Vic was that's a little off. Something that's a little off? As in, as in that's for you to figure out, pal. All right, let's try to figure it out, Mr. Nick. Okay. So he was here, wasn't he? Bottles of cosmetics are scattered all over the floor. This is probably where Mr. Karita fought his assailant. What are these bits of glass from? A flower vase, maybe? There are flowers on the floor, but I don't know what they are. You don't know much about flowers, do you, Mr. Nick? No. <laughs> Looks like Mr. Karita had dinner last night. This bottle, it's tomato juice. We had a lot of food at the award show last night, but I wonder if the stars had gone on stage after only eating a meager meal like this. I love Phoenix Wright music. So that's a bed, right? Yep, it's big, but it's a bed. Ah, Mr. Nick, it's so soft! Big beds must be a rarity for her. Sorry, I'm vibing. There are all sorts of things in his refrigerator. The carrot juice bottle and the tomato juice bottle are both empty. Empty? It's too much of a hassle to throw them away, I guess. They're all vegetable juices. I guess he must have been a real health nut. Oh, there's a beet, some ketchup, and a bottle of strawberry jam, too. <laughs> this makes you a, a health nut? Girl, you don't know what a bed is? She sleeps on the floor. In Crane Village, they sleep on the floor, I guess. Maybe red was his favorite color? The fucking bears are sending me. I'm going on a business trip and the bears are coming with me. It's a suitcase. There are so many things in it that I bet it barely closes. There's his clothes, a dryer, an electric shaver, a calculator. Do all stars pack too much stuff like Mr. Karita? Not anymore, cause he's dead. Hmm, so messy in here. Girls really like things neat and tidy, I take it. There are a lot of electronic things in here that I've never seen before. Hey, Mr. Nick, tell me what they are, pretty please. Okay, that over there is a watch. You wear it on your wrist. You know what a watch is. <laughs> Oops, for a second there, I forgot I was talking with Pearls, not Maya. Wow, there are a lot of bears. Alarm clock ones, collector's editions, stuffed teddies, plastic models. It's pretty overwhelming. Is there a kind of bear he doesn't have? There's even a few in the trash can. Yeah, I get the feeling maybe the guy didn't really like bears. Poor teddies. If this circus case comes up one more time, I'm gonna need therapy. What was the voice I did for him again? It's hard to bear with all these problems. Growl. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I don't think I want to bear with the trauma of the last case caused me. Someone says it. Someone finally says it. That's so true. That's so true and I agree and we should stop talking about it. <laughs> What's wrong, Mr. Nick? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh... Bow, 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 bow. This is a guitar case, I guess. A little beat up, but still usable. That's strange, the guitar is not here. Maybe he forgot to bring it to the show? But Mystic Maya, she said the bright red guitar was the Jammin' Ninja's signature item. The 
That's true. Huh? This guitar case is wet, but it's only wet on the top of the lid. Yeah, there's no water inside the case. This is water, isn't it? It's blood. It's blood. There's some water, but only on the top of the lid. Okay. Uh, can I show him the guitar? What can you tell me about this guitar case? Oh, that. This is just what I heard, pal, but that's the Jammin' Ninja signature item. The guitar case? No, not that. What do you take me as? I mean, the guitar inside, of course. But the guitar is missing. Yeah, we looked for it too. It's not normal for a person to forget to bring their most famous item to an award show. It's starting to sound like that red guitar is related to this case after all. Why gumshoe kinda? No, I agree. 100% I agree. Oh, Kira, just wait until Edgeworth shows up. Cause he's gonna show up at some point during this case, I know it. But like when he shows up, oh, it's over. It's over. Uh, can I ask him about the camera? What do you know about this? Um, there's nothing special. Okay. Uh, that's your present from the kidnapper, huh? While you're talking, it sends and receives radio waves. If we could trace that. Yeah, we could use it to find out where the bad guy is. It uses radio waves, huh? I got it. I'll go find a radio scanner and let you borrow it, pal. <gasps> that's nice. Nothing, okay. Thank you for not helping me at all. <laughs> you look at this photo and you can't help it. it. Makes you wanna say, I can't believe this is the scene of a murder. Stabbed with a knife after a struggle. Clue is sleeping in this photo somewhere, I know it. Um. The flowers, the tomato juice, the glass is full, the guitar is gone. Everything like lines up. I feel like it's gonna end up being the guitar. It's almost break time. No. Okay, she doesn't know anything about this. Can I show her the crime scene photo or will I get in trouble? No, okay. Haha, <laughs> ha, dead body. <laughs> That'd be evil. What the hell? Okay, it's a stretch breaky time for me. I gotta go to the bath. Okay, we're back. I'm refreshed. I got pretzels to eat. I got tea. And I looked outside for a few seconds so I could stretch my eyeballs. So we're back. Um, could I talk to her about anything? I don't think so. Mm. <gasps> There's something new here. Oh, he's back! He's back! No, coffee takes too long to make. I don't think I could make it in a during a stretch break. Oh, Mr. Wright, how are you? Ah, oh, Mr. Powers. Have you been here the entire time? Yeah, people connected to the murder aren't allowed to go home, let alone leave. Well, I left. <laughs> so, he's back! Can you tell me a little more about the Nickel Samurai TV show? Okay. The Nickel Samurai is an action hero program aimed towards kids. It's the sequel to The Steel Samurai. I see. This time there are three samurai brothers. Aluminum samurai, tin samurai, and of course the nickel samurai. <laughs> they just be running out of ideas, huh? It's a love, it's a love why in Neo Old Tokyo? What's a love why? Plutonium samurai, tungsten samurai. <laughs> I see. Wait, a love what? I love why. This girl Sayo works at the tea shop and all three guys fall for her at the same time. 
Oh, I guess the Y shape is like the three brothers colliding over this one girl. Oh. Anyway, Sayo is actually the daughter of the evil Strawberry Clan's leader. Strawberry Clan. Sounds like an unusual situation, like Romeo and Juliet times three. Yeah. Strange thing is, this sort of forbidden love story is really big with the office ladies. Um, yes, Pearl? What happens next? I want to know. Miss Sayo, does Miss Sayo fall in love? She does, doesn't she? Every Sunday at 8 a.m. <laughs> I'm going to stop watching Kids Masterpiece Theater starting this week. Can't believe she's really considering it. So what's the Jam and Ninja TV show like? It started from a remake of an old movie, to tell you the truth. The Jam and Ninja, like the samurai shows, is geared towards kids. It's funny that he has so many bears in his hotel room and there's not a single bear in this photo. <laughs> I keep hearing a P sound instead of K, so it sounds like you're saying nipple samurai. <laughs> That'd be so much better. That would be better. It's the story of a ninja who can't scale a wall but became a big pop star anyway. Uh, what? <laughs> he was a really lousy ninja. Absolutely couldn't do anything, do any ninja things right at all. <laughs> but boy, could he sing. With his trusty bright red guitar in hand, he took the ancient world by storm. Uh, a ninja with a bright red guitar? And then the final fight in front of his beloved princess Mizula. Jammin versus the Muromachi Five. Suddenly, our brave hero catches a not so jammin cold the night before battle three. <laughs> not the cold. No. Oh, that's too bad for him. Yeah. But this kind of pop music based love story is something high school girls really like. Um, yes, Pearl? What happens next? I want to know. Jammin, the Jammin Ninja. Will he be able to sing? What about Princess Missoula? Every Sunday at 8 a.m. <laughs> um, which show should I watch? Hmm. Can't believe she's really considering it. Um, can I ask you about the guitar? That guitar case, that was Juan's. I'm guessing you've seen this case before. It's pretty famous by now. It sounds out because it, it stands out because it holds the bright red guitar. The bright red guitar, the Jam and Ninja signature item. But if the guitar is so important, how could he forget it for the award ceremony? It does seem a little strange. Have you seen this dead body? Sorry, thanks for taking the time to take it out and show it to me, but I'm really sorry. I don't know a thing about it. Okay. Camera? No. Radio. Can't believe it. A kidnapping. Do you remember what the person looked like who gave this to you? It was that bellboy. And, and I didn't suspect a thing because he looked like such a normal old man. The one with the zipper going down his face? Old man, huh? They called this so suddenly that something about it just seems off, you know? You mean the press conference? Yeah, he said there's something I'd like to confess if I win. I heard he faxed his request for a conference into the office only yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah, that is kind of sudden. But I guess his manager set, up, set everything up somehow, so he was lucky. Hmm, nice manager. Old bag, you whore. You whore. No? Okay. Let me um let me save and see what the prompts are. Cause I feel like I'm gonna have to do hers first. Because she only has two. But Lotta has four. So I think I'm gonna try to get hers first. So let me save really quick. Because I'll mess it up. I just want to see what the questions are. Boom. Ra -ta -ta -ta. Oh, she has four? Wait, who has two? Oh, Jesus. What you witnessed. All right, I'll be honest with you for now. Then please tell us what you saw. But, oh, what a waste. Oh, wait, she has a voice. But, oh, what a waste. And here I have a perfectly good chance to have a little fun at you youngin's expense. I am a little devil after all. Um, doesn't that imply you aren't a good person? <laughs> Alright, I'll give you what you want. What does she want? 
Something to do with Juan, for sure. You're on guard's lawyer, aren't you? Well, yes, but... Then forget it. There's no way I'm telling you. Oh, damn it. Okay. I don't think I have what she wants. <clears throat> um... it yet okay we'll reload I don't know what she wants I'm just an 85 year old teenage girl <laughs> I'm innocent okay um The big scoop. Lotta, will you please answer my questions? On the night of the murder, why were you loitering around the victim's room? I told you, didn't I, for my scoop. What I want to know about are the details of the scoop. That's not something I can tell you. I mean, that there's my bread and butter. All right then, an unpleasant tabloid photographer looking for a scoop. I'm going to say that you are looking into a scandal. Ugh. Could it be that you, Lotta Hart, were looking for a break with a huge story? Perhaps an unfolding scandal between Juan Carita and this person? <gasps> and this person? <laughs> Monsieur en garde. Who the heck is that? Um, you think us journalists are all a bunch of idiots? You can't fool me, I'm a pro. What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, um. An unfolding scandal between Juan Carita. It wasn't with Matt on guard? On guard's manager? <gasps> this woman. She's Adrian Andrews, Matt on guard's manager. My air conditioning is really loud today. Hmm. The Nickel Samurai's manager caught secretly meeting with his rival, the Jam and Ninja. It would be the hottest story of the season, wouldn't it? Got one. ACB like. <laughs> You're pretty good at this guessing thing, Mr. Lawyer. But you can't just make up any old thing and think it'll make the papers. Ninu! Hi, Sunshine! Thank you so much for the 17 months. That's really sweet. ACB like, ra ta 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 ra ta ta, -ta. <laughs> You gotta have a backup. Backup? Yeah, yeah, you gotta have that, that, what's it, new sauce? <laughs> um, you mean new source? That's it. So show me something that shows that one guy had something with Miss Andrews. Oh. Oh no, I backed out! Fuck! I do this every time! Mm. I don't know. I don't think I have it. Okay, let me load again. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, okay, okay. Um. You. Do I have to get her secrets first? We can try. Might as well. God. 
Motive for murder. Why was Juan Carita murdered? If you ask me, I think you know the reason he was killed. Hmm. Why are you hiding things? Don't you realize you're putting Mr. On Guard's life in danger by your actions? Why do you ask questions for which I have no answers? The truth is, I was not that close to Mr. Carita. You were not that close? That's right, I've never been good at being intimate with another person. You're not good at being intimate with another person? Somehow, I highly doubt that. Wouldn't it be, um... Wasn't she close with on guard? Ask me whatever you want. I'm an open book. 12 psyche lives. <laughs> Wait, what did she... Who did she say she was not close? No, she was close with on guard. I'm very bad at connecting with people. They're so depressing for the most part. Um, but I especially just like feeble-minded individuals who's got two thumbs and is really feeble-minded. This girl. Yes, yeah, well, that's why I don't think I could ever be intimate with you. Who? You were very, I'm certain you were very close with the victim. You still don't have any proof. Intimate? Oh. I don't know anything. I don't know anything. <laughs> I'm just gonna die. Maybe I should ask people around about her. Maybe, um, powers will be like, yeah, we fucking dated. Yeah, we fucking dated. It's crazy. Do you know anything? Ugh. Okay, no. The answer's no. What about... Powers... Hey, that's Miss Andrews. She's Matt's manager. Actually, I was interested in her for a little bit. Just a little. Hmm. So Mr. Powers likes this type of woman? What do you know about Miss Andrews? Well, see, here's the thing. I don't really know her know her, you know? There's sort of a small rumor going around about her right now. A rumor? Uh, if you're interested, I'd be glad to share what I know. He's so happy. He looks like a lion that just found his next meal. <laughs> that's because of all the hair. We stand a reserved queen. <laughs> what do you know? Would you mind telling me about this gossip? Ah, so you are interested in it. I figured you would be. Yeah, I have such a weakness for celebrity gossip too. Oh really, you too, huh? Yeah, so take a look at this. Looks like a tabloid Miss Oldbag would read. All right, let's see here. Jammed Midnight Rendezvous? To the mysterious yet beautiful manager to the stars, Miss A.A. You see now, don't you? What? You can stop pretending to be in the dark, Mr. Wright. Juan Carita didn't have a manager of his own. Which means if we're talking about a certain manager with the initials A.A. Adrian Andrews? Yes, exactly. This is big news. But it seems kind of odd that woman Miss Andrews, together with the biggest rival of her client... That's that wonderful thing that can only happen between two people. Mr. Powers looks so happy. Pearls is just following along, not having any idea as to why he's smiling. <laughs> well, like the saying goes, one man's garbage is another man's treasure. <gasps> okay, so I think I can use this as proof to unlock the psyche locks for um, Lada. I think I can do that, but I, I will be saving. <laughs> I will be safe scumming, yes. Thank you for asking. Thank you guys so much for asking. I don't even think I'm gonna read the text. I just wanna 
eat my little pretzel. With Miss Andrews? They is woman. <laughs> I love pretzels. Anything with salt all over it? Oh, I love salt. Back up. Oh, I got a new source for you. Oh, I got a new source for you. This is the article from a certain weekly tabloid. Jammin' Midnight Rendezvous? To the mysterious yet beautiful manager to the stars, Miss A.A.? Ah! Mr. Karita didn't have a manager of his own. What's more, his rival, Mr. Ongard's manager, Adrian Andrews. She has the initials A.A. You saw this article and then thought to take some pictures of them as proof. That's why you were lurking around Mr. Karita's door last night. Wah! Got her ass. And that's just another day in the life of being a lawyer. That's just what it is. Got her. You were looking into Mr. Karita and Miss Andrew's affair, weren't you? You got it. I was gonna get myself a scoop by catching him in secret meeting. But there's already an article about it in one of the weekly tabloid magazines. It's no longer breaking news. What'd you just say? Her initials are AA. What kind of vague thing is that? That ain't no proof of nothing. People are gonna wanna see real proof. Well, at least I do. So that's what I was doing, getting photos. Oh. I'm gonna whip up the reader's interest with some gossip and a little misleading. Then spass it up a little and have myself an exclusive story. Well, not anymore, he's dead. I don't know if you knew this, he's dead. Wow, Lottie, nice journalistic integrity you got there. I already finished writing up my spicy article, you know? But, but the paper I wrote it on, my note to myself, it's gone. Your note to yourself? It was inside the case of my $1,600 camera. They done run off together. <laughs> they done run off together. I came here for my big story. Didn't come here to have my treasure disappear on me. Yeah, I understand. It's enough to make a gal go bonkers, I tell ya. What's with people now, anyway? I never thought I'd see the day when someone done steal something from me. You really want that note back, huh? Got no idea why though. The story on that note is probably a bold-faced lie. <laughs> Ooh, stolen on the night of the murder. Tabloid article about the victim was in the case. Mmm. Can I ask her more about the camera? Ugh. And I just bought that camera. Who did it? The thieving rascal. Please don't look straight at me while you're saying that. <laughs> when I find the bugger who went and done this, they're gonna pay with a bullet. And if you do that, don't expect me to defend you. <laughs> okay. Um. Maybe next is Andrews? I don't know. I'm so curious where they go. I feel like I need to see the questions first. Not her $3,200 camera. Who would steal her $5,000 camera? It cost her $10,000. The note eloped with the camera? Oh my god! Damn, girly, you bungled this. <laughs> I'm stealing that word from you, Pink Rebel. You bungled this. Not the Pikachu with the gun. Oh my god. Not her 100k camera. Did I save? I can't remember. I'll save again. Right, you. Thank you so much for the Prime Sub for 13 months. I've just read the stream tags. Love the no backseating and five tags. Love your different accents for some characters. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, unfortunately, the the five no backseating tags I put on the stream still don't work. So, <laughs> um, but thank you. I'm not very good at voices. Like I'm, I don't know. I'm not like a voice actor or anything. But like I do love being goofy, and that's what matters to me. I do love being a little goofball. 
a little goofball. Um, yeah, let's give it a shot. Let's try. Maybe, maybe I have more than I realize. What is she writing in her Barbie um, numpad locked diary? I want one of those so bad. I want one of those so bad. Those like those uh, diaries you can get at like Toys R Us or whatever, where it's like uh, like you have to put in a password to unlock it, and then you unlock it, and it goes, "I just wanna be part of your symphony." <laughs> it's her burn book. I'm I'm the next one in. I'm the next one in. Probably about how dumb we are. It's so true for her. Why was Juan Carita murdered? If you ask me, I think you know the reason he was killed. Hmm, why are you hiding things? Don't you realize you're putting Mr. Ongard's life in danger? Why do you ask questions? I have no answers to I'm not close to Mr. Carita. You were not that close. That's right, I've never been good at being intimate with another person. Somehow I highly doubt that. So can I present the magazine clipping? <gasps> you and Mr. Carita had an intimate relationship, did you not? A silly third-rate tabloid article. If you even had half your wits about you, you wouldn't believe such rubbish. Well, it seems quite a few people have already bought into this story. Hmm, that's to be expected in a world filled with crooks and liars. <laughs> Note to self, stay on her good side. In any case, I despise interpersonal relationships like that. I see, however, what if there was a need for you to get close to someone? Me? Need to get close to Mr. Karita? As if there was ever such a need. Didn't you get close to Mr. Karita for this person's sake? Maybe on guard? Because they were rivals? Oh, wrong one. Do you really still not understand? What? It's not in my nature to enjoy doing things for others. So can I use her? It's called a job. I'm in charge of Mr. Ungard the star, not Ms. Matt Ungard the man. Oh, you're not my client. So can I use her? Because she's like, I do it for me. No! For whose sake was it? I'll try one more time and then we'll revert the save. Because I haven't even gotten rid of the first lock. For this person's sake. Maybe she was trying to bribe the security lady or something? I don't know. No. I'm just guessing. Oh, I'm about to die. <laughs> you know what? Let's try it. Why not? Um, no, we're dead. <laughs> we're dead. Your soul will shatter. Your soul will shatter. <laughs> Not your soul. Oh. What now? Okay, I don't think I can help her yet. Or I don't think I could get through to her yet. But what would... What would Old Bag want? Old Bag wants something and I don't know what she wants. No. Calm down or we'll take your soul. <laughs> Maybe I can go talk to On Guard again. Maybe he'll have something new to say. What do you think about this article? Hmm. <laughs> If you're talking about her thing with one, uh, I always thought she was a bit careless in the way she handled it. And that's it? Is that it? <laughs> Dude, I know I like to throw my money around, but it's not like I buy anything and everything. That's nice because it's not up for sale anyway. <laughs> oh no, she's French! She's French! No. I'm just showing him everything. <laughs> uh, 
Probably doesn't have anything to do with Maya's kidnapping. That's a secret. Okay, whatever, dude. Um... Okay, so he's not helpful at all. So that's cool. Oh wait, can I pre I can present people to him. I keep forgetting about this. That's my manager. Did you meet him? Uh, yeah. What do you think? Strong woman, no. Strong woman, no. But ah, uh, mais non. And she takes good care of me. You're such a mama's boy. <laughs> what about old bag? Um, dude, this person looks like a member of my fan club. <laughs> Hold on a sec, I'm gonna ask the fan club president, okay? <laughs> um, dude, you know what? Forget I asked. <laughs> Never mind. Look, dude, I did not kill him. I mean, the nickel samurai kicked the German ninja's butt, right? So it's not like I felt threatened by the likes of him. Being rival sounds like a sad way to relate to another person. Bro, I don't know. Um, what about... What about... Gumshoe? Do you have anything to say about anything? Oh, so you saw that article too. Yeah, but I'm not really interested in that sort of thing. Actually, we've been looking into that too, pal. Those secret meetings, I mean. What is this world coming to when even the cops are amateur gossip collectors? Hey, why are you looking at me like that, pal? <laughs> Whatever you're thinking, you're wrong. Um, look, when we find out more from our investigation, I'll let you know, okay? What can you tell me about this guitar case? That, this is just what I heard, but that's... Oh, yeah, we talked about this too. Uh, I'm kind of stuck. I'm kind of stuck. I don't really know where to go from here. No. Mm, people? She's Mr. Ungard's manager, right? No matter what I do, I really stink at talking with people like her. As soon as I open my mouth, I get all flustered. See, she's one of those women with a brain. She's someone who gets things done. Yeah, she does give that sort of impression, like she's got it all together. Compared to her, you can easily tell I'm a can't do anything right kind of guy. <laughs> That's why I get all nervous and start messing up. I feel sort of bad for him. What about old bag? What do you know about this old lady? I thought she was an alien from outer space. Yeah, probably because she's wearing that strange helmet. Ratatata. Nah, even with her helmet off, I thought she was an alien pal. I think that's probably best ki kept to yourself, if you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, if I had a choice, she would be number three on my list of people I don't want to see. Because I'm in the number one spot? Don't get all high and mighty on me here. You've taken a tumble into second place, pal. Huh? Really? Then who's in first? Miss Von Karma's miles and miles ahead of you in this race. Oh. She's really scary. Right now, Miss Von Karma, you really don't. He's so scared of her that he's whispering now. <laughs> Ratatata! Thank you, Artemis, for absolutely nothing. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Ratatata! I'm not a real fan of action shows or anything, but I know who Juan Carita and Matt on guard are. Can't talk about one without talking about the other, I guess. They even debuted around the same time. <sighs> so they have this real fiery rivalry with each other. Kind of like you and me, pal. <laughs> we do not. I never knew he thought of me as a rival. Can I ask about powers? No. This is really tough. Um... Part of me feels like surely I have to have everything. Ugh. Let's go try old bag, I guess. What does she want?
I don't know what she wants. I might have to ask chat for help here in a second, but I'll I'll try first to do do it on my own. Uh Add time. Add time? Um Um Yeah, we have a sub goal going. August sub goal is a Smurfs dance party stream. Wee woo wee woo. Also gifting subs just supports the stream. So thank you to everyone who is who has done that. It's very nice. Thank you. Yeah, we're going to do a Smurfs dance party. Maybe I'll cosplay as a Smurf. Maybe. Just popping in to say hello. Hi Mr. T. Hope you're having a good day. Uh here I have a perfectly good chance to have a little fun at you youngin's expense. I'm a little devil after all. You youngin's expense? What does she want? Oh my god. What do you want? What about the guitar case? Cause she really liked on, uh, she really liked a uh, wand. She wants a better nine to five. <laughs> Speaking of Smurf cosplay. Oh my God. I'm gonna kill Phoenix. Um, okay, chat room, this is me asking genuinely. Can someone gently nudge me in the right direction? Because <laughs> I'm really stuck. I feel like I asked everything, I presented everything, I examined everything. Something in the crime scene photo you have yet to examine in this scene itself. Oh, okay. Thank you. I thought I examined everything. I'm just not the detective I once was, I guess. My prime is behind me. Oh. Examine everything except the one thing I need. It's a beautiful wine glass and there's tomato juice in it. Ew, tomato juice. I don't really like it much. There's a bottle of it on the table over there. That's probably where this came from. But doesn't it seem weird? What seems weird? I mean, everything else is scattered all over the floor. She's right. The flower vase was broken and the makeup is strewn everywhere. Why is this glass the only thing that's still all right? Find next to the victim is filled with tomato juice. No sign has been, no sign has been drank. Why would she want that? So far, baby. <laughs> Hello, everyone. It's good to have seen you once again. Why does this lady have a tape record on her chest? It's no replacing for a good memories. Perhaps she should Sudoku every day until she is returned to memory. Thanks. And that's a thing like no one's saying that these days. No one's saying that anymore. Everyone's too scared to say that. Why is there a red dot on her chest? No sign has been drank found next to the victims filled with tomato juice. So does... She... 
I feel like I'm missing something because how would I know that she wants this? You know? I'll save again, but like. <laughs> hey, dick. Oh, they were two separate hints? Oh, okay. Okay. I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going back. So about this wine glass. Ah, uh, so you noticed it, pal. The whole crime scene was a mess, but this glass was the only thing that was untouched. You noticed that too, Detective Gumshoe? No, actually, Miss Von Karma noticed it first. Yeah, Pearl's noticed it before me too. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. So does that mean Miss Von Karma's here at the hotel? Yeah, she's around. Man, you're gonna be in so much trouble, pal. <laughs> Especially if she catches you in here. Well, you can bet the instant I see her, I'll be running the 1,000 meter dash. He's going to the Olympics. I'm getting a call from Dick Killer. Dick Killer. What's that beeping noise, Mr. Nick? Sorry, I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> hmm. I've heard this sound somewhere before. Oh, is Miss Von Karma? Oh, that means she's getting closer. Huh? For some reason, whenever I hear that sound, she pops out of nowhere and whips me. Come to think of it, that's exactly what happened the last time. There's been a lot of typos in this one. What's your pretzel shape of choice? Any. <laughs> as long as they taste good, any. Kayla, thank you for the 27 months. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. <laughs> Literally, if they taste like pretzel, I don't care. Ew. Oh, she's here. 30 second dance party. My name is Miss Von Karma. It's time for a 30 second dance party. If you want to dance, press the button for a 30 second dance party. At last, you reveal your true nature, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Gulp. Would it be too much to ask for you to be nice to me for a change? <laughs> so you're the type to steal information from pitifully hopeful detect hopeless detectives. That's very dishonorable of you. Ow. Hey, don't you dare run away, scruffy McTrenchcoat. <laughs> uh, I didn't think the detectives of this country could be this pitiful. <coughs> Yeah, the Japanifornia detectives are not like, <laughs> they're not known for their, for their skill. Press the button if you want to dance. Ooh, ah. Detective, come over here for a second. God, I see what you've done for others. And I want the same for me. Amen. <laughs> hmm. I feel better knowing at least you were man enough to face your punishment. He was so scared, he just froze up on the spot. Mr. Phoenix Wright, you, you have soiled my perfect prosecution record. I'll never forget that. This time, victory is mine. Victory is yours? Is that all this means to you? What? Hmm. Come, Scruffy. The investigation briefing is about to begin. Yes, sir. This isn't over yet. I swear on my family's honor. What honor? <laughs> Her whole family has shit honor. Ow, what did she throw at me now? <gasps> what is this? Oh, to my dearest Wendy? Got it, got it. Well, I guess this means I've got to get back to the precinct now, pal. If you ever need me, come down to the criminal affairs department, all right? And if you can, try not to let Ms. Von Karma see you. I get it now. I know what she wants. Wait, where to go? Do I have to pick it up off the floor? Oh, there it is. Mr. Nick, what's this piece of paper? It's called an autograph. Autograph? 
The paper's got Mr. Corita's name written on it, so it's, an, it's his autograph. I can't read it at all. Me neither, bestie. <laughs> Me neither. To be honest, I've never seen writing that looks like this. Uh, it's a special way of writing called cursive. Look here, see how it says to my dearest Wendy in more normal letters here? This sloppy, unreadable writing. It's crazy and cruel to give this to someone. <laughs> cruel? Oh. Hold on. Wendy. I've heard that name somewhere before. To my dearest Wendy. Okay, great. Let's go talk to Old Bag. Thank you, chat, for nudging me in the right direction. I really appreciate when you guys, like, nudge me and don't just, like, tell me what to do. It's really nice. Thank you. Thank you. I got what you want, Wendy Old Bag. Any time, thanks. I love this case, but they did save the hardest for last. Oh, yeah. 100%. I'm so bad at psyche locks. And this is like a common thing with me where like when I examine um, cr like the, the crime scenes or whatever, I always accidentally look over one thing that just happens to be required to like push the story forward. It happens every time. All right, I'll be honest with you for now. I'm gonna skip all this. I'll give you what you want. Give me a sewing challenge and I'll give you what you like. That's, that's Juan's autograph. Yes, it is. And, and it even says to my dearest Wendy on it. That's me, right? Right? Um, my name is Wendy Oldbag, so that Wendy has to be me, right? Well, it may say Wendy, <laughs> but somehow I don't think Juan had this Wendy in mind when he signed it. Oh, please, give it to me. Let me have it, please. <laughs> The face? <laughs> Wendy old hag, more like. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. I can't let you have it just like that. Yes, yes, I know. Then how about an exchange? <laughs> yes! What the fuck? What the fuck? Plot twist? Wow, she must really want this autograph. My offer isn't good enough for you? Fine, Mr. Wright, you win. Wendy old bag ready to open up her heart. All for my dearest Juan. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, she wants that shit now. <laughs> autograph given to Wendy dearest. To Wendy dearest. Okay. That's nice. I feel bad for you now. Huh? I tell you, I saw him that night. I saw him coming out of Juan's room. Who's him? You're kidding. Oh no. It was about 10 minutes before Juan's body was discovered. It was just a coincidence. I was on my way to the toilet, minding my own business. And, and? Did you tell that to the police? Well, of course. I thought I could get a gift certificate or two out of it, maybe more. <laughs> She's a frugal queen such as myself. She is a coupon queen, and I, I respect her for that. Gift certificate? I've been recruited again for that part of the trial. You know, the trial tomorrow? This time, you're gonna get it. I'm gonna work hard to get your client pronounced guilty. But Mr. Ongard hasn't done anything bad. I don't care about details like that. I know he did my dear poor Juan in. I just do. That yellow-bellied chicken. A yellow-bellied chicken? Wonder what that would look like. I trust my senses. I know when someone did something bad, and I say he did it. What did Mr. Ungard ever do to, to her to deserve this? What did Mr. Ungard do to you to make you so... <laughs> you don't know? That guy, he framed my Juan. He created that scandal that plagued poor Juan. Oh, the one between the manager? <gasps> you get a gift card for being a witness? Sign me up. <laughs> Sign me up. I do stand a coupon queen and I respect it. And I respect her. Mr. Nick, 
What is it? What's a scandal? Not right now, Pearl. Mommy's trying to solve a murder. <laughs> oh, um, I'll tell you about that after we get home, okay? Poor one, led astray by the wiles of that vile temptress. <laughs> Can you guys call me that from now on, vile temptress? Thanks. Mr. Nick, what do vials and wild temptress mean? Ugh. Um, how about we just listen to what Miss Oldbag has to say for now, okay, Pearls? So, Miss Oldbag, who is this woman you're talking about? Adrian Andrews, of course. Who else? That guy, he shoved the girl onto Juan on purpose. His own manager? But why? I thought lawyers were smart. It was to create a scandal to make Juan lose face. That girl drove Juan into a scandal that dragged his reputation through the mud. Sounds like a pretty standard definition of a scandal to me. What do you know about that anyway, Miss Oldbag? I'm one of Juan's biggest fans, <laughs> so I know everything. I'm always out there gathering information. There's nothing I don't know. And do you have proof that Mr. On Guard did what you say he did? Next week's issue of a certain magazine says so. Ugh, of course, a tabloid. Next week? Doesn't that mean it's something people don't know about yet? Why would Miss Oldbeck have information like that? And where did she get it? Hee hee hee. <laughs> Is she his number one fan? <laughs> Anyways. How does she have it? Okay, she doesn't have anything for this. Uh... No... Can I ask about Miss Von Karma? Maybe Miss Von Karma got her for her. No. How would she know? How would she, oh! Okay, this is helpful. Detective Gumshoe said they had an investigation briefing. Yeah. Oh, he's back! Hey, so you came, pal. Why the blunt greeting? Um, because there's nothing to be friendly or happy about it. What do you mean by that? Well, things look perfect this time around. The evidence and testimony are airtight. But, but, we can't just roll over and die. We have to stay positive. So what do you mean the evidence is airtight? I can't give you all the details, pal, but there's two big pieces. Two? And both of them are in this photo. The first is the button that's missing from the victim's chest. Oh, it's a fucking massive button. Hmm. That's the button that you found during your body search of Mr. On Guard. Yep, I found it in the folds of the Nickel Samurai Special Pants. Um, uh, and the second one is the knife in his chest. The fingerprints on the knife in his chest, to be exact. That looks like a dinner knife, though. So couldn't he have had dinner? Oh, trigger warning coming up soon? Okay, thank you. The suicide discussion can come up during this part with gumption. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, he had dinner. So his manager could have taken it and killed him. Fingerprints? Whose are they? You don't even have to ask, little missy. It's obvious. They're mad on guards. Tomorrow's trial. Talk about being stuck between a rock and a hard place. So what about this airtight testimony? It's that old security lady, Miss Oldbag. I thought so. What do you mean you thought so? Did she tell you something, pal? Um, well... And I even told her not to open that mouth of hers and blab to anyone. Her blab knob is stuck on 10 and there's no turning it down, trust me. Her blab knob is stuck on 10. So me, that's so me. Yeah, well, Miss Oldbag saw it all, pal. She saw Mr. On Guard come out of the victim's room around the estimated time of death. No way! Bow, 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 bow. Oh. 
Can I? I can't ask him anything? Can I ask him about the tabloid? Two years ago, a woman committed suicide. Oh, two years ago, a woman committed suicide. Suicide? Her name was Celeste in Pax. Celeste in Pax. Is that supposed to be a pun? And she was Juan Carita's manager. Ooh! The victim's manager? But that's not all, pal. Miss Inpax was Adrian Andrew's mentor. She taught Miss Andrews everything she knew about the business from square one. Her mentor, woman who was both Mr. Carita's manager and Miss Andrews' mentor. Could her suicide have something to do with this case? Do you want to know more about her, pal? Well, yeah. Yeah, duh. Celeste impacts. Impacts means in peace. Celeste in peace. Oh, poor girl. Yeah, duh. She was the victim's manager and was also Miss Adrian Andrews' mentor. It's been two years since her suicide, and now those two are linked again by another death. Or maybe it's just a coincidence. Oh no, she's back. I'm getting sick of dealing with one foolish idiot after another. Mama, mm, Miss Von Karma. <laughs> you can't seem to stop allying yourself with the enemy, can you? I don't need a traitor in my midst. You don't, you don't mean. I do, Scruffy. You have 30 minutes to get out of here. You're no longer needed, goodbye. I mean, he lasted a long time leaking stuff to me. Like his salary was just getting lower and lower. So like the annual gumshoe gets fired. I know he just keeps getting fired or like his salary getting cut. That's, wait, please wait, sir. If I don't get this month's pay, I'll, quiet. If it weren't for traitors like you, I would have won. Is that what you want to say? Is this Edgeworth? Is this Edgeworth? Who? That voice. Ah! <laughs> We're so back, baby! Let's fucking go! Let's go! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> We're so back! We're so back. Oh my God. Okay, so we're gonna give him a British voice, right? I think it was like a deeper British voice. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, Edgeworth, it's you. It's been a long time, right? I'm really bad at British voice, I'm sorry. Th this person, this is Mr. Edgeworth? What am I going to do with you? Play the jazz music. Wow, jiggle, wow, wow. Wow, wow, Still blaming others when things go wrong. You haven't changed a bit, Francisca. Oh, that smirk. <laughs> you. How dare you show your face to me without a shred of shame upon it. You've soiled the Von Karma name, dragged it through the mud. You even ran away with your tail between your legs like the ill-bred dog you are. <laughs> Not an ill-bred dog. Oh my God. Are you talking about the Von Karma family creed? To be perfect in every way? I'm turning Australian a little bit. Then let's hear it, Francisca. How are things going? I hear you are having a rough time maintaining perfection in this country. You. You seem to be getting crushed under the weight of it all. That's why I came back. Keep your assumptions to yourself. <laughs> you call that a knife? Edgeworth shows up and we're like, Von Kama? G'day, how you goring? 
My name's Miss Sageworth. <laughs> Just give him the worst accent of all time. Good day, how you going? Phoenix Wright. <laughs> Phoenix Wright. <laughs> Good day. <laughs> oh, I love the Australian accent, so goofy. I I haven't given in yet. I won't lose. This case is mine. I'll never hand it over to you. Never. Mr. Phoenix Wright, I will see you tomorrow in court. It will be a clinical lesson on the meaning of total victory. Will it? You lost the last, like, three in a row. Hmm. Still the same wild mess she always was. Hey, Dada. <laughs> hey, Daddy. Dada. Da da da. <laughs> Phoenix Wright sees him and just goes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I thought you, the prosecutor, Miles Edgeworth, had gone and died. <laughs> I thought you'd gone and died. Mr. Nick. I, I never wanted to see you again. I think that's enough of a warm welcome for someone you haven't seen in a year. Are you going to run tomorrow's trial? You heard her, right? That wild mare hasn't given in yet, it seems. So no, I don't think I'll be making an appearance. Your hatred for me is quite unhealthy, not to mention one-sided. He's like, I don't hate you. In fact, I love you. And then he gets on one knee and he proposes to Phoenix Wright. <laughs> and then they tongue kiss in the precinct. And then they tongue, they French kiss with tongue in the precinct. <laughs> but I will say one thing. You can't win on your own at the trial tomorrow. Is he gonna join the defense attorneys? Listen, don't answer my question. Don't answer my question. But if he becomes a defense attorney like he always wanted to as a kid, I'm gonna fucking scream. I'm gonna scream into a pillow. What is that supposed to mean? I have something definitive that you lack. And working together is the definition of teamwork. Is the power to find the truth! <laughs> is he gonna join? Hold on. I gotta put my hair up. Is he joining? No shot. No shot. The truth? In order to understand this case, you have to understand a certain truth. Well, if you ever feel the need for my assistance, it is available to you. Ah! <gasps> Chat room. Chat room. I can't believe the 180 I've done on this guy. Cause at the beginning of the first game, I hated him. I was like, Ugh, I don't get it. Like, I don't get why people are so into him. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it 100%. I'm not in charge of this case. So I can be a bit more generous with information. Just what is going on inside his head? That's insane. That's insane. Imagine playing this when it came out. I'm losing my mind as a lesbian right now. <laughs> a lot of things may have happened. However, Manfred von Karma was still my mentor. And a perfect win record is proof of a von Karma. One year ago, you could not establish guilt in a few cases. Are those losses the reason you suddenly disappeared from the prosecutor's office? Did you leave because you had lost your perfect win record? I think your motivation for prosecuting trials was so selfish. He was always like this, Phoenix. Come on. It'd been better for everyone if you never came back from the dead edge with Phoenix, you don't mean that. You don't mean that. He's saying this through tears. Through tears and gritted teeth, for sure. I see. Then let me ask you something. Why do you stand in the courtroom? What is your reason? To show off my badge. I got a shiny badge. Well, with Francisca, she almost always says, 
I will defeat you this time, the instant she sees me. But the courtroom is not a personal battlefield for prosecutors and lawyers. I stand in the courtroom to defend my client, to save their lives. To save your client, you say. Those who think only of their own ego-driven goals, those kind of prosecutors are rep reprehensible to me, even if you're a prodigy or someone like you, Edgeworth. It looks like there is still a lot you have to learn. A lot I have yet to learn, me? Mm. Well, that's enough for now. The time when you will see, when you will see is coming soon enough. I wish I could do a British accent. It's really hard for me. So what fucking now? Can I show him stuff? Look at my badge. <laughs> Look at my badge. I have no interest in talking about useless information. Put a little more thought into what you show me, Phoenix Ride. <laughs> you want some wine? Bound to go wow wow. <laughs> wow to go wow. Okay. What if I move? Should I move somewhere? Bow, 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 bow. Bah, bah, bah. Oh, wait, we have to talk to... We still have... To, oh, hold on. We still have to talk to... What's her face? Uh, we still have to talk to... to what's her face? Um, do I even have enough? I don't know if I have enough to, like... Talk to her about this. Oh, but I do have, I do have Celeste. I do have Celeste um, thingy. So maybe I can't, we'll try, we'll try again. Hmm, looks like Miss Andrews isn't here. That's not good. I still have a few questions I wanna ask her. And she has that psyche luck on her heart, right? Well, we don't have much of a choice. I guess we'll have to come back later. Really? Is there anything else I can snoop around in? Snooping? Where did she go? She's the only person left I have to talk to. Ding, 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 dong, ding. Dong ding dong ding. Now what do I do? Can I ask her about the girl, Celeste? Do you know anything? Oh no, she doesn't. Okay. Uh. Oh. Um. I could ask Old Bag because she's the one that was like, you didn't know. You didn't know about what happened two years ago? So she probably knows. Okay. Cool. <laughs> cool beans. Uh, can I ask about Edgeworth? No. <laughs> Crazy frog ace attorney. <laughs> Uh, on guard's past, Mr. On guard duty makes so you don't know that guy. He framed my wand, created a scandal that plagued poor Juan, Mr. Nick. What is it? What's a scandal? Um, poor Juan led astray by the wiles of that vile temptress. Who is this woman you're talking about? Why do you know about that anyway, Miss Oldbag? I'm one of Juan's biggest fans. I'm always out there getting a you don't. Do you have proof that Mr. Ongard did what you say he did? Next week's issue of a certain magazine. A certain magazine. I'm stuck again. <laughs> Hi, Ash. How you doing? Oh, hell yeah. Her name's Oldbag. Hell yeah. There's a lot of like punny names in this. They like, like um, one of the girls' names was Eenie Miney and her, sis her sister was 
mini miney or mini miney or something like that. I can't remember. The miney sisters. <laughs> I'm like itty miney. Bye. <laughs> Where did she go? Where did she go? Where did Gumshoe go? Oh, can I ask him about Celeste, maybe? <gasps> um, what's wrong? How much do you know? What do you mean, how much? Mr. Lawyer, I may be your client, but I hope you will keep yourself out of my personal life. Uh, no, I would never. Now, if you will excuse me, I have a lunch appointment I have to keep. You're in detention. Who in the world are you going to eat with? The security guard? Mr. Nick? This Celeste Impacts lady. Somehow I get the feeling she's a very important person in all this. Everyone's just leaving! What the hell? They can just walk away? What do you know about Celeste Impact? Hmm. This woman is another key to... Oh. This woman is another key to solving this case. Do you really think so? She was Adrian Andrews' mentor for a long time. But she was suddenly called away by a different show and became Juan Corita's manager. And then, a few months later, Celeste Impacts died. Died. She fucking died, love. <laughs> right. Right. She fucking died. In it. <laughs> Hi, Janelle. How you doing? But her death was ruled a suicide, right? Yes. But there's still one riddle we've yet to sol <laughs> solved. Who wrote this? This is like the fourth typo we've found in this episode. And we're only like two hours in. <laughs> My ESL ass. <laughs> I wrote this shit. Antoine, you speak better English than I do. And it's my only fucking language. And it's like your fifth language or whatever. A riddle. Her suicide note. It went missing. No one could find it. What is this song? A suicide note that just vanished, huh? Tell me about it. Miss Impax's death was most certainly a, a suicide. Of that, there's no mistake. However, we could not find her suicide note. That's when the police began to suspect that someone had hidden it. The suicide note? But how do you know Miss Impax had even written such a note? There was no solid evidence. However, we did find traces of ink on her right index finger, which makes the likelihood of a suicide note very high. But who would hide such a thing? Oh! The police think it was Mr. Juan Corrida himself. The victim? <gasps> Oof. This wasn't as graphic as I expected, I'm not gonna lie. Um, not that I wanted it to be graphic, but when we were getting content warnings, I was like, uh. He was the one who found her body, which makes him the only person who had a chance to hide her suicide note. Mr. Karita hid his own manager's suicide note? But why? As long as her note is missing, any speculation beyond this is meaningless. For now, I think you should look this over. This is the suicide report. Part one, anyway. Part one. Was her suicide note hidden? Ooh. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I can't read it. Damn, okay. Let's try going back to the hotel. Maybe she's back. They just show it a lot for some reason. That's, yeah, that, no. The content warning's totally fair. I'm not saying like we don't need one. I just mean like, 
when people give a content warning, my brain expects like the worst and it, it wasn't as bad as I expected, but yes, 100%. Okay, here's the bullshit. Oh, here we go. Can't wait. <laughs> Where the fuck is she? <laughs> Where did she go? Maybe? What do you know about suicide? Nothing. Ugh. Come home, the kids miss you. I have to end stream kinda soon, so I'm like, can this lady just show herself? <laughs> can she just show herself, please? Where did she go? Uh... I don't like to look through reports. I like suicide reports even less. Worst of all are the reports that have multiple parts like that one. That has two. Two parts? What you just handed me is the first part of the report. Here's the second part. <laughs> Why didn't you just give me the second part. Why did I have to ask you? Why did I have to show you the report you just gave me for you to be like, here's the second part. Oh my fucking God. <laughs> the second part of the report is about an attempted suicide. The attempter's name, it's Adrian Andrews. <laughs> Cause he wants to talk to you more, he missed you. I think breaking Adrian's psyche lock is the end of the chapter. Okay, we'll keep going. Miss Andrews? Um, what did she do? She, she tried to kill herself? She doesn't seem like the kind of person to try to kill herself though. Welcome to mental health awareness. <laughs> you'll never guess. You'll never guess what I'm about to say to you. Usually the people who commit suicide are the people you least expect. This was 2002. Mental health wasn't a part of the vocabulary yet. You think she's a strong career woman? That's just what she wants you to think. Adrian Andrews. She has a certain, certain secret she's always trying to hide. A secret? Her dependent nature. That's what she's really like on the inside. Miss Andrews, dependent? Talk about the exact opposite of what that woman is. Oh, oh, the top one changed. What's this about Miss Andrews having a dependent nature? Adrian Andrews' attempt at suicide was a few days after the death of Celeste Impacts. And? And why did Adrian Andrews think about committing suicide? Because she had apparently lost her will to live. That's not really like a shocker. That's not really lost her will, but why would she? Her pillar of strength, her mentor Celeste Impacts was gone forever. That's why. Oh, cause it was her mentor. That's right, that's right, that's right. I forgot. Why would that? Is this what they call following someone to the grave? Who taught you that? <laughs> Who taught you that, Pearl? After her attempted suicide, Adrian Andrews started attending counseling sessions. She is someone who needs a person in whom she can trust absolutely. And once she finds that person, she'll do anything she can to keep them near. Without such an anchor in her life, her crippling anxiety stifles her ability to live. Why am I doing an Australian accent? I like can't do a British accent. It just goes straight to Australian. My name's Edgeworth. <laughs> Good eye. Not gonna lie, I like the accent. Really? Okay, cool, I'll keep doing it. And that's, that's the nature of her dependency on others? When Celeste Impact suddenly committed suicide, the world before her turned pitch dark. That's according to Adrienne Andrews herself. Then that means her super confident attitude. It's all a facade. Can you speak English? I don't speak French. 
She's only copying her mentor's behavior to hold herself together. How terrible. <gasps> Attempted suicide report added to the court record. Shock from Celeste impacts to suicide. Ooh, brother. Do I have to fucking present this to him too? <laughs> Here's the third report. <laughs> it's cliche because it's true. Miss Andrews. I think that behind that unwavering brave front, she's been hiding this weakness and fear. Okay, now let's go back to the hotel. Maybe? Why is the Aussie not, I told you I can't do a British accent, it's hard. It's hard, I just keep going Australian. I love Lada's music. <gasps> She's back. She's back all right. Oh, Miss Andrews is here. But it looked like it looks like she's talking with someone. That's <gasps> Von Karma. Lauren, thank you for the prime sub. Thank you. Welcome back. Miss Von Karma? What are you doing here? <clears throat> um, well, you see, I'm his lawyer, so. <laughs> You've got some nerve following me around. Oh my god. Following you? That's you, Miss Von Karma. You're the one doing the following. Pearls. You're always following after that Mr. Detective with the little beard. <laughs> with the little beard. <laughs> me? Following after Scruffy? Don't make me laugh. Let me show you something interesting, little girl. The machine. Bleep, 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 bleep. What is that? An electromagnetic receiver. I planted a tracking device on that detective. Yeah, duh. We knew this like a whole episode ago. And with this, I know that fools every move. But you also just fired him, so like. So that noise we heard was this receiver. I feel really sorry for poor Detective Gumshoe now. Now then, let's stop wasting time. Adrian Andrews. Yes? Think hard about what we just discussed. Understood? All right. What were those two talking about? Miss Andrews, she seems a little dazed, doesn't she? Okay. Let's give it a shot. If I don't have everything, I might just end the stream. <laughs> Cause I'm going to see Olivia Rodrigo tonight. And I want to get ready and I have to pick up a clear bag because I didn't have one. Whoopsie. <laughs> okay, let's try it. Bow. The inverted um, backgrounds look cool when they do it. I will be safe, thank you. We have everything organized, so I'm, I'm really excited. Can't wait to, to go see her. Why was Juan Carita murdered? Oh, we did all this, okay. Um, you were not that close. That's why I've never been good at being intimate. <gasps> you were intimate with Celeste in Pax. Huh? Not her? Then with who? Oh, Juan. <laughs> Thank you. What? Well, it's not Juan either! Oh, uh, does it have to be the suicide evidence? Okay, let me back up. It might have to be the suicide report. Or her the, the attempted suicide report, I think. Okay. Let's try this again. Sorry. <laughs> I think you need like evidence, evidence. Oh, I hate when they say like, oh, so you were never close with a person? Cause then I'm like, I have to show a person. Here we go. Um, let's try. Shock from Celeste impacts suicide. 
Let's try this one. This case is pissing me off. <laughs> this case is pissing me off. Okay, fine. The suicide report. Chat, can you just tell me what it is? What is it? <laughs> what is it? Just tell me. Article. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I'm, I, speaking of losing the will to live. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oh my god. You and Mr. Karita had an intimate relationship, did you not? Silly third rate tabloid. Oh yeah, that's right, we did do this already. In any case, I despise interpersonal relationships. I see, however, what if there's a need for you to get close to someone? Me, need to get mis close to Mr. Karita as if there's ever such a need. Didn't you get close to Mr. Karita for this person's sake? So now it would be Celeste. Celeste impacts your mentor. How do you know about Celeste? Miss Impact, she committed suicide, didn't she? But it looks like no one knows why. Right before her death, she was Juan Carita's manager. So I believe you got close to Mr. Carita so you could find out more about her suicide. You have a great imagination. You may have a future yet as a slimy muckracker for a putrid third right tabloid. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That was fucking, that was fucking good. Like, I can't even be mad. You got me. <laughs> Miss Andrews? There was no mystery surrounding her death. None. It would be pointless for me to force myself into a relationship for nothing. Is that really true? Was there really no mystery at all? Don't believe you were completely at ease with the way her suicide resolved. Yeah, because the suicide thing said there was uh, the missing suicide note. Miss Impact's suicide note was never found, was it? It looks like the police were under the suspicion that someone had hidden it. Like maybe the person who discovered her body, Mr. Carita. Juan? And Miss Andrews, I believe you thought the same thing. That's why you became intimate with Mr. Carita. Hee <laughs> hee, we're getting there. She's spitting. <laughs> I've sat by quietly and listened to your insulting ramblings long enough. It's true that Celeste was my mentor. However, allow me to say this again. It had nothing to do with me. I didn't even know that her suicide note was never found. I'm a person who doesn't care about what goes on in the lives of others. That's the impression you like to give. However, I don't think that's who you really are. What? I have evidence that says otherwise. This is proof that Celeste impacts with someone very special to you. Uh, is this the attempted suicide report? Shock from Celeste and Pag suicide. Oh, thank God. <laughs> we got our group bag, baby! Miss Andrews, you, you nearly went through with it too, didn't you? Went through with what? No, <laughs> the attorney badge! You have to show her the attorney badge. Ending your life. Miss Andrews, you look and act like a very strong woman who has it all together. You don't ask for anyone's help, relying only on yourself. Yes, I've been very independent ever since I can remember. However, that is all just a lie, a facade. You've always searched out people who, uh, people on whom you can depend on. That's... You were dependent on Miss Impacts, weren't you? Which is why, when she passed away, you lost everything you had. Stop! Phoenix is getting real intense with this. <gasps> oh my gosh, congrats, Remix! I was about to start singing happy birthday. I was about to be like, happy birthday. <laughs> Congratulations, that's amazing. Oh, Lauren, also thank you so much for the prime sub. Wait, I saw, I read that one already. Sorry, my brain's all over the place. Congratulations, happy birthday to you. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you for sharing it with us. That's really sweet. How honored am I? right now to have people who are like, I just got married and I want to come in and tell my favorite streamer about it. That's so sweet. Thank you for sharing. When Celeste passed away so suddenly like that, I died a death of my own, but no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't stop thinking about what had become of her note. You must have heard about the police report, the one that said the police suspected Mr. Carita of hiding Miss Impax's note. You heard about it and thought to recover it from him by getting close, am I right? 
If that's the case, then everything changes. What do you mean? What topic did we start this conversation on again? It was why was the victim killed? Exactly. Somehow, Miss Andrews, it seems that you have become the one with a reason to want Mr. Karita dead. Me? Miss Impact was everything to you. And then she died. And you would do anything to find out why she killed herself. Even commit moide. It's just courthouse marriage at the moment. But it's still marriage. What's the difference? Listen, hot take. It doesn't matter if you have like a super expensive $30,000 wedding or if you go to a courthouse and get married. That's marriage, baby. That's marriage, baby. So you should be, you should celebrate. You guys should celebrate. You're married. Married. I went to a courthouse wedding once and it made me appreciate it more, not gonna lie. Cause it's just like, we just wanna get married. Who cares if it's like a big celebration or not? You can always do it. You can always do like the big wedding thing later. But you guys are married. Hey lawyer dude, how's my acquittal coming along? Not the real Matt on guard. Uh, bonjour lawyer dude, coucou. How's my uh, acquittal coming along as you say in Japanifonia? Oh, we got her, yes. Yes, finally. Thank God. It's about time. It's true, I'm a woman who can only live in insecurity. I'm physically small and I don't really have a lot of self-confidence. <laughs> I've pushed against all that, sorry, that's not funny. <laughs> that's not funny. It's just, it the way she said that reminded me of the, I'm 27. I have no prospects and I live with my parents or something, or my, my parents are not proud of me or whatever. What is that quote from Pride and Prejudice? I'm 27. I have no money and no prospects. <laughs> I'm a burden to my parents and I'm frightened. <laughs> and I'm frightened. <laughs> That's how it came off to me. I'm sorry, I shouldn't laugh. I pushed against all that though and I've tried to live strongly. I never wanted anyone to find out the truth. Miss Andrews, this one thing, it's the one thing I wanted to take with me to the grave. It was my secret, mine and mine alone. I, I'm sorry. You probably think I'm a worthless human being right now, don't you? Please, Miss Andrews, all I want to know is the truth. After Celeste passed away, I heard that someone had hidden her suicide note and that someone was Juan Carita. Celeste, without her, Without her, I became scared. Everything, everyone seemed like they were out to get me. So you got close to Mr. Karita to recover her suicide note, correct? Looks like that tabloid reported the truth after all. Ironic, isn't it? Well, like they say, where there's smoke, there's fire. And if they purposefully add fuel to the fire, they keep the celebrity world burning. But as for the suicide note, I didn't and wouldn't kill anyone for it. It just doesn't suit me, that's all. I kind of believe her. I do believe her, I think. Well, that's enough for now. Still have work to do, so I understand. Oh, I have one small favor to ask. My attempted suicide. I'd like for you to keep it a secret. Oh, this is part of the true ending. This is part of the true ending for sure. I like can't reveal that she attempted suicide. Okay, 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 got it. I'm putting that in my brain. Miss Andrews, if, if people found out about my weakness, I, I would sooner choose to die than live. She'll kill herself if I tell people she tried to kill herself? All right, I understand. We'll keep it a secret. Miss Andrews, I guess she's the overthinking type. Join the club, bestie. <laughs> Join the club. She probably never says anything without carefully thinking it through first. Thank you for your discretion. Mr. Nick, can I ask you something? What is it? Miss Andrews has been playing with that card in her hand since a little while back. I brought up the card. I just want to say that. I just want to say that. I brought up the card. I brought it up earlier. Hi, gamer ghoul friend. How you doing? That card. Yeah, I guess she has. Miss Andrews, what is that card you're holding? Huh? Oh, this? I don't quite know. It just suddenly appeared in my handbag. <laughs> It just showed up one day. What is it? It looks like a seashell? That's what it looks like, doesn't it? 
I honestly don't remember owning this card. I wonder where I picked it up from. Her not remembering something clearly? Sounds like it would be a rare occurrence. The calling card of death. Well, I must be off. I leave Mr. On Guard in your capable hands. Right. Well, I think we've gathered about all we can. What about Mystic Maya? Is she all right? I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. Let your imagination run wild. Oh, Pearl, she looks so worn out by all this. She hasn't slept at all, and she has been walking all over the place with me today. What's wrong, Mr. Nick? Let's go back to the office for a little while. You're really tired, right? Oh, no. I'm okay, really. I'm fine. I really am. Baby, no. You don't look fine to me. To the office. Let's go to the office. So, what now? Well, we did find one thing out for sure. Miss Andrews has a motive. You mean Miss Impax's suicide note? That's right. She was also the one to discover the victim's body. Clever. It's them. Mr. Nick, the transceiver. Hello, Wright and Co. Law Offices? Mr. Attorney, you're not answering a phone. Maya, where's Maya? As I promised, I have not gone within a few feet of her this whole time. Phew. Which is why I suppose she is absolutely famished. They're starving her? What? So I suggest you win a quick acquittal, my friend. At any cost, wouldn't you agree? Wait, Maya, let me hear her. Very well. Ask my... Maya, is that you? Sis, ask my sis! <sighs> this game's on thin fucking ice with me. <laughs> These people who wrote this are so weird. It's so weird. Damn it, he cut me off. Mystic Maya said ask my sis, didn't she? Sis? What does she mean by that? Is this the tutorial level? Did Phoenix just wake up from a coma? This is the end of the second game. What do you mean, my sis? You know what's crazy too? You know what's so funny? This whole game, this whole game, he's been like, don't talk about Miles Edgeworth. He's dead to me. Don't. Oh, that voice. But Edgeworth is alive. Mia literally died at the beginning of the first game and he doesn't give a fuck. Whenever people bring up Mia, he's like, oh yeah, that was my mentor. But Edgeworth disappears and he's like, don't talk about Edgeworth. <laughs> Come on, Phoenix. You're a hopeless one. Um, sorry. Ah! <laughs> you know what? At least she's covering her boobs with her arm. And that's all I can really ask for at this point. At least that's literally the bar is in hell for this. Mia, I have a message from Maya, so come ask me anything you want about her. Jesus. I'm never gonna make it to this Olivia Rodrigo concert. How's Maya? She's safe for now. That kidnapper is one to keep his word, it seems. I'm glad to hear she's safe. But Mia, how did you know? As soon as she was locked up, Maya called for me. I read the note she left. Then I gathered as much information about her surroundings as I could. Didn't know you could use spirit channeling like that. Pretty smart of her. That is smart, leaving a note for her. The kidnapper, what's he like? I don't know. Apparently Maya went to answer a phone call at the hotel and was drugged there. And? She didn't see the face of her attacker. Ugh. Maya's locked up in a very dark place right now. I'll tell you everything I heard when I was with her. When you were with her? Ugh, I'm starving. Could really go for some apple pie. 
I mean, at a time like this, sweets are the only way to go. <laughs> I have to stay positive. He promised he wasn't going to kill me. I'm not going to die. Sis, I wonder if you're with Nick right now. Oh, uh, I have to do stuff? Can I... Can I save it here and we keep going the next time? Because, like... I'm way over time. Yes, okay, we'll keep going with this next time. Maya is the end of the chapter apparently every time. Okay, yeah. Because I'm, I'm like very way over time. <laughs> I gotta end here. And also I wanna eat. And I don't wanna miss the concert. <laughs> um, thank you so much. Thank you for being here. I won't forget to tweet my fit, don't worry. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging out. I had a lot of fun. I'm enjoying this case. It's really tricky for some reason. I guess it's just, it's always like the last cases, but I'm trying to keep in mind everything I need to remember for like trying to get the true ending. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for hanging out today. If you enjoyed the stream, uh, don't forget to follow me here on Twitch. I'm also on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. My YouTube channel is getting really close to a million subscribers. So if you're not subscribed already, please consider. <laughs> Have fun with Olivia Rodrigo. Yes, we're hanging out. We're very close friends. Me and Liv Liv, that's my nickname for her. We go way back. Um, and then this VOD will be up on the gaming channel tomorrow morning if you wanna watch it tomorrow. But I have a playlist for all of my Phoenix Wright VODs. I've split them up by game, so Justice For All has its own playlist. Um, and I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today.